Hey YouTube, it's Eli, and today is October 16th, 2013, and I will be six months on testosterone this Friday. Um, and on Saturday, my name will be have been legally changed for six months too, so that's pretty cool and awesome. Um, a few changes I want to talk about, not everything, um, is <laughs> body hair, um, or more so facial hair. Um, I pretty much have a peach fuzz all along my jawline, and then there's like a few black hairs sticking out now, so that's cool. And then everything here is like, you know, darker and getting thicker, so that's cool. I'm, I stopped shaving, well the last time I shaved was a week ago, um, and I kind of don't want to shave to kind of just, so I can kind of see the rest of how it's looking, um, and then as far as body hair, I have chest hair. Like, it pretty much goes across my chest like that. Um, so that's pretty cool. I love all my body hair. It's really cool. It's, it's like, it's, um, the only like really dark and thick hairs that I have um, is around my belly button. So that's pretty noticeable. Like, if I lift my shirt, people will be like, dude, you have stomach hair. And I'm like, just, yeah. Fuck yeah. And then... As for armpit hair, it's kind of like, it's, my hair's kind of reached down to right here, and it's kind of creeping up a little bit more, so I feel like I'm going to have more armpit hair than I do now, um, so that's interesting, to say the least. Um, as far as strength and stuff, I can do chin-ups now. Um, today I did 60 push-ups, which is a big wow. Um, considering I haven't done push-ups since, I don't know, probably high school, and I was probably only able to do, like, 10 or so. I would had to do more for, like, a physical, um, education for gym and shit, but, like, I can really only do 10 pre-T, and I just did 60, and it's been a while, so that's pretty fucking phenomenal. Um... I can kind of see my Adam's apple, Adam's apple more, which is cool. You can kind of see like the shadow around it a little bit. Um, I know it's not supposed to grow because I've already went through my puberty, and this is just my second one. But um, I think it's because I'm a lot smaller than I used to be, so you can kind of see it like just like my, if I go like that, you can see my collarbones, and before you couldn't. But that just had to do with me being bigger than I used to be. Um, I currently weigh 174. I said that in a previous video. So, um, yes, I'm smaller, which has been great. Um, but lots of people have been like, dude, you're so skinny. What do you do? And I'm just like, I ride my bike and I go to work and I lift boxes. <laughs> like, I don't know. Um, just, I guess, more of physical or just move my body more I'm not sitting down and whatever I eat three times a day roughly I try to eat at least three times a day so it's at least two to three times a day so I eat more and all of my digestive system and the inside is working like it should be and everything's normal and everything's fucking good and all that stuff there isn't anything that I'm like oh man like this should already be happening by now, um, you know, because I still have the rest of my life for things to finally settle down and get to where they need to be and stuff like that, which I'm looking forward to. Um, the only thing that's like bugs me is my voice change. Like I know that it's changed, but I just today my boss lady was like, um, your voice sounds like a little boy, you know, just like, what the fuck, and I was offended, and, but didn't say anything, I was just like, ow, it's just too early to be mean, like, fuck, and I'm older than the other douchebag, but I'm not even gonna talk about him, whatever, um, my veins and my hands show, um, more and stuff like that, so that's been cool, um, have lower back hair, no hair on my back, no like acne or anything. I have um, broken out a couple of times, like on my face or whatever, but I think it's because of work 
cakes and bread but I've been really taking care of my face and making sure I wash it in the morning at night and putting lotion and stuff so that's been really good I never used to take care of my face like that but now I do um <laughs> uh <clears throat> but that's it for my changes I'm really happy I can't believe I'm six months I will probably do like a reflection thing by the end of the year um and I won't be a year by December I'll be a year next April but I do want to kind of do a reflection type of thing just because at the beginning of this year January 1st is when I picked myself up from my def depression excuse me or picked myself up from my depression and I was just done with it all and I needed to move forward and I've moved forward like six months on T my name's legally changed I will be moving to my own apartment in a couple of weeks which is fucking amazing and I'm nervous about it but I'm really excited like I feel like I'm fucking 100% prepared to be on my own and I can take care of myself which I have been doing since my mom died but you know like you know, lots of things has happened happened this year. There's a few things that really suck that happened this year that I won't talk about. But, you know, like, for the majority of this year alone has been so positive and so great. And I will talk more about that at the end of the year as, you know, you know the last couple of months swing on by. Or whatever and I hope they go by fast because I don't like holidays or whatever and I'll probably you probably will hear me talk about that when the hol official holiday seasons or whenever it probably already started because Halloween's coming around but like Thanksgiving and Christmas and whatever yeah, not looking forward to those holidays whatsoever mm. but whatever it's fine um but yeah, that's it. Six months on tea. Fucking amazing. Oh, great. Can't wait. I will see you guys next time. Bye.